Hi, my name's Julia, and I'm going to show you how to find the magnitude of a vector with two components. So let's get started. I'm going to draw a vector. I'm going to call it vector A. And we want the magnitude in the end, so we're just really looking for the length. We're not concerned with the direction of this vector. If we've broken it down into components, that means we've broken it down into an x component, which I can call a sub x, and we've broken it down into a y component, which I call a sub y. So vector a sub x, a sub y. Now notice that this forms a right triangle. And we know the Pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, a and b being the legs of a right triangle, and c being the hypotenuse. So a here is our hypotenuse, and we can say the mat, we're just dealing with the magnitude, so I'm going to drop the vector symbol. So a squared is equal to this length, a sub x squared, and this length, a sub y squared, added to each other. So to get a, I then take the square root of both sides, and I'll find that a, my magnitude of a, is just the square root of the sum of my components squared, or the sum of the squares of my components, more correctly. So this here is how you find the magnitude of a vector with its components. Thanks for watching.